Hello everyone! I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to share the everyday things that most people own but I don't have. Hi lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Trisha. I'm a Filipino minimalist. I make cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle videos. If you're into these kinds of stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click the red button down below. You can also follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook pages. Their links are in the description box below. In this video, I'm going to share the everyday things or the common things that I don't own as a Filipino minimalist or as a minimalist in general. These are the things that I've gotten rid of as I transition into the minimalist lifestyle or items that have simply no use for me anymore or stuff that I find no interest in owning in the first place. Let's not get this video any longer and let's start with the first item. The first item that I don't own is a necklace. I've already mentioned this in my past video. I said that I'm not fond of wearing any pieces of jewelry, well except for my wedding and my engagement rings of course. Although there was a certain phase when I was young where I used to love wearing my mom's jewelries like her necklaces, her bracelets, and even her rings. But as I grew up, of course my style changed. I wasn't into wearing jewelries anymore because I realized that wearing jewelries actually made me look like a little too over the top with the simplicity that I was going for, especially whenever I go out of the house. I first noticed myself going for a more straightforward or simple look back when I was in college, mainly because I had no money in buying fashionable or trendy clothes back then. So it was around this time during my college days when I started buying from ukay ukay or secondhand shops. And I mainly look for plain t-shirts and jeans which I could mix and match so that I could wear them whenever we're allowed to not wear uniform in school. So even before I became a minimalist, I already wore simple clothes and no jewelry at all. The second and third items are related to the necklace and these are bracelets and earrings. I love to look as simple as possible. I don't know why. Well, I only wear a pair of earrings or a bracelet or a necklace on formal occasions, but that happens at least once a year. And to be honest, the last formal occasion or party that I went to was an office Christmas party back in 2018, and I haven't gone to any event or occasion ever since I moved to New Zealand. So that's how boring my life is here in New Zealand. Well, mainly because I'm an introvert at heart. So I don't own any pieces of jewelry except for my engagement and my wedding rings, of course. The fourth item is a pair of running shoes. I used to walk around the block in our neighborhood as my exercise back then, especially when I first moved here in New Zealand. And even back then, I had no proper running shoes to wear. So as I got more committed with my daily exercise, I've always thought of buying a pair of running shoes. But as I got busy with work, I never got back around with my exercise routine or with my afternoon routine. And a few months after I stopped with my exercise, with my daily exercise or with my daily routine, the idea of buying a pair of running shoes came back to me just to motivate myself in exercising again. However, up until now, I I haven't gotten around with buying a pair of running shoes since I realized that every time I go home, I really never had the time anymore to exercise or work out and also because I never had extra energy to spare with. Although I do yoga every once in a while to help ease my back pain and muscle tensions caused by work. However, I don't think I will be needing a pair of running shoes in the near future. I also don't own a tablet or a an iPad. Although I have thought of buying an iPad a few months ago, a couple times before, I never pursued up until now to purchase one because I have weighed that it's more practical for me not to own one. My primary motivation back then for buying an iPad was because I thought I needed something handier than my laptop whenever I watch movies or YouTube videos or my favorite TV shows from it. 
when I'm in my bed. I could have used my phone, however, I also would love to have something which has a bigger screen than my phone and handier than my laptop. Something in the middle of those two and I thought an iPad would be the perfect fit. Now, I know this problem is too silly to discuss and this is the very reason why I decided not to buy an iPad anymore. This next item is more of a general household item and that is a wall decor. I'm thinking about wall arts, paintings, or macrame, or any other sets that you can hang on the wall. The very main reason for me not owning them is because we are only renting a flat. I don't want to damage the walls since I don't intend on staying here for too long. So I don't want to put too much items in this flat which would make it harder for us to pack whenever we finally decided to move out. Another reason is I just don't generally like putting too much items inside the house. And it is because it makes the place too chaotic and not relaxing at all. And I've already discussed this in my mistakes that make your house look cluttered video. I'm going to put the link down below or right up here. You could watch it if you're interested. And the very last reason is I'm also more into functionality. So I don't want to put items in this house which don't have any function or importance for me. I also decided to get rid of our one picture frame. I used to have one A4 photo frame or picture frame which I intended to put our wedding photo on it. However, I never got the chance up until now to print our wedding photo. So I decided to get rid of that one picture frame that I own because I realized that I may never be able to print out our wedding photos anymore. I keep our photos in a flash drive all backed up and I also post most of them on my personal Facebook account. So this means that I don't intend to buy a picture frame anytime in the future. Also, I find it a little cheesy now to post photos of us inside our house. But if you do have picture frames in your home and you love displaying your photos inside your house, that's okay. We all have our own preferences. Make your home how you want it to be. Another household item that I don't own is a calendar. We do have calendar apps on our phones, on our laptops, and even in our iPads. So I don't think we should be owning a paper calendar anymore. I also don't own any makeup wipes, although I use the Hamish All Clean Balm to remove my makeup. It produces less waste and even more effective for me to use. I also don't own a coffee maker. So I used to own one back in the Philippines. I tried to use a coffee maker because I was trying to be more healthy when it comes to my coffee. But I realized that I really do love drinking 3-in-1 coffee and I already have my preferred brand. I know it's not healthy at all but it's my guilty pleasure you guys. However, I may buy a small espresso machine but that's way way into the future. Probably when we already have our own house. I also don't own any souvenir items like those refrigerator magnets or keychains. I used to buy souvenir items whenever we visit a place. However, I stopped buying them when I realized that I always end up throwing them away after a few years of owning them because at the end of the day, it's the memories and photographs that are more important than those keychain from Baguio City or that refrigerator magnet from Queenstown. These things always end up cluttered for many years before you realize that they're just rubbish and unimportant. This next item is something that I don't own and something that I don't intend on buying anytime in the future as well and that is a robot vacuum cleaner. I think this one's becoming a trend now because who doesn't want to own a robot to clean your house, right? As impressive as it sounds, I believe that owning a robot vacuum cleaner is only essential for big houses and not for small flats. It would be impractical for us to own one with only having a small space to roam around. We also don't own a dryer in this flat. Although when we first moved in here, we also thought of buying a dryer to go with our washing machine. However, we realized that we only have a very small space inside our bathroom to place both dryer and washing machine in it. It would take too much work and customization just for us to have both a washing machine and a dryer in this flat. And this is something that we realized that is not very practical for us to do since we are only renting this flat anyway. The next item is also related to the dryer and that is a dishwasher. There are only three people in this house. Therefore, there are only very few dishes to wash every day. So it would be also impractical 
possible for us to own a dishwasher and to use a dishwasher as well since it's very easy for us to just wash the dishes with our hands. This is also one of the things together with the dryer that we intend to buy whenever we have our own place already. I also don't own a credit card. This is a conscious decision that I have made for myself when I moved to New Zealand and that is because I used to own two credit cards back in the Philippines and what it only gave me was a mountain full of debt and I was only able to pay off that debt only when I moved here to New Zealand, I got traumatized by this experience that I don't intend to own any credit cards here in New Zealand because I don't want to be burdened with that much debt anymore. I realized that I had a terrible attitude when it comes to spending. Although I'm in a much better place now when it comes to controlling my spending habits thanks to my minimalist lifestyle, but I would honestly spend like crazy back then. Now I'm only biting what I can chew which means that I only buy what I can spend. And if I want to buy something a little bit more expensive, I make sure that I save up for it so that I won't have to use any credit card. We also don't own a bed frame. When we first moved in here, in this flat specifically, we also intended to buy a bed frame for our bed because we thought that it would make our bedroom look nicer. However, as time passed, we realized, especially me since I'm the one pushing to buy a bed frame, I realized that we are able to sleep soundly without it so it's really more of a decorative item for the bedroom and like I've said nowadays I'm more into functionality so I decided not to own a bed frame anymore. I also don't own a pair of fashionable heels and the very main reason why I don't own heels is also the reason why I don't own any pieces of jewelry and that is because I rarely attend any formal occasions. I have had one pair of heels back in the Philippines but I left it there. I didn't bring it here when I moved to New Zealand. I thought I could always purchase one if I would be needing it here and in my two years of living in New Zealand, I have never needed to buy a pair of heels yet. And yes, that's how boring my life is. We also don't own ironing board to go with our flat iron. We have a flat iron that we use very rare but we never needed an ironing board to iron our clothes. Probably the reason why we never thought of buying an ironing board is mainly because we can use our flat iron without it anyway and we rarely use our flat iron anyway. We also don't own any bicycle. Although to be honest, I've also thought of buying a bicycle for me and Dennis back when I was trying to think of fun activities to keep us in shape. However, this plan never went through same as with my jogging plan to keep me in shape every afternoon. I also don't own any hoodie jacket or hoodies and the main reason for that is because I love wearing my husband's hoodies. I love wearing oversized jackets. I find them perfect for me to wear. Dennis owns a couple of hoodies and I love borrowing each of them from time to time. I don't wear them every day. That's why I also don't see the need for me to buy one for myself. I also got rid of our bedside table lamp when I decluttered our bedroom and that's in a video right here if you want to see it. I'll also put the link down below. I just found no use to it anymore since Dennis and I would either turn the main lights on or off at night so we're not lamp persons. There's no in-between with us when it comes to using the lights. I also got rid of our bookshelf probably after a year of moving in here. It was one of the pieces of furniture that we first had in this house. I just realized that I'm really not fond of open shelvings or open book shelvings. That's why I decided to finally get rid of it. That bookshelf ended up to be a pantry cabinet for us and once I realized it, I decided that I should probably buy a pantry cabinet instead rather than using a bookshelf to put all of our food in it. Also, I didn't bring all of my book collections from the Philippines anyway, so I only have a handful of books to display here. That's why I decided to get rid of that bookshelf and buy a pantry cabinet instead. And the last item, finally, is a handkerchief. I'm not sure if there are still people who bring handkerchief or hanky with them. I know this was a trend before, especially for us 
90s babies. When I was a student, I used to bring handkerchief to school but I always end up losing them. That's why when I went to college, I slowly gave up on bringing handkerchiefs to school. There you have it loves, those are some of the things that I don't own. If you noticed, some of these items are items which I intentionally didn't want to own and there are also some of them that I once owned but eventually got rid of. There may still be a few items that I haven't mentioned in this video but as for now I don't know which items they are since it's difficult for me to identify them because I can't see them. As a guide if you're interested into this minimalist lifestyle these are the things that you may want to consider when it comes to owning items. I always consider the functionality the practicability and durability of the item when it comes to owning or purchasing them. If that item doesn't fit these criteria, then I wouldn't consider owning or purchasing it. And which of the things that you don't own are not included in this list? Let me know down below. Don't forget to leave a comment and give this a big ol' thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Your likes and your comment will definitely help this video a lot so if you want to support my channel, please leave a comment down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching you guys. I love Love you and see you on the next one. Bye!